Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last time we left off, we encountered a Crystal Sage, which is a boss in this area, which is right behind me, actually. But we got our asses kicked horribly, so... I go at it again because I feel like I can take this guy on, because he really doesn't take... He's not all too difficult. Like, his health ain't all, all much to be worried about. He can, like, I don't know, I guess 10 or more hits will do it. But it's all about avoiding his projectiles, because his projectiles are what deal heavy damage to me. <clears throat> but I think I might make my way back to this guy, because I feel like I'm stronger now, and I am close to the Abyss Watchers, but I feel like I can take this guy on now, because... Um, I was weaker back then, but now I'm much stronger. So we'll just have to see how things go. So you see, like, his... He, I've hit him like, I don't know, four times or so, and I've taken off like a good chunk of his health, so... Oh no, his health is no... It's nothing to take seriously. The only thing I just have to watch for is his magic. Because his magic is what, um, deals heavy damage. I don't think he deals any physical damage, I think it's just all magic damage, I'm not sure. The thing is about this guy is, once you start getting halfway, his magic will, he'll start duplicating himself and the only way you can tell which one is the real one is, it, is the color of his magic, because his magic is purple. All the while the clone's magic are blue. And it looks like he does deal physical damage. <laughs> it's been a while since I last fought this boss, so I don't remember much about him, but I'm pretty sure I can take him down now, because I've... I think I was like level 30 whenever I was in this area, and now I'm like, I think I'm almost 45 now. So, next time I record, I'm going to make my way back to that guy, and we'll start from there. But yeah, I feel like he won't be much of a problem, because <clears throat> I was somewhat underleveled, but I feel like I'll be an equal match to him now, plus I know stronger pyromancies. I also found a ring that increases my strength, the strength of my pyromancy, like, um, I got it off of one of the giant crabs in this area, and... That I did it off camera too, and I also found, if you remember in the high wall Lothric or the low wall, whatever, the area that's after the first level, then, um, if you remember that drop off with those guys who threw those giant jars at you, I found a way to get down there, and it, you, you actually need a grave key from that one lady in the Firelink Shrine who sells you stuff, and you need... You need to buy a grave key from her and then what else what else um teleport back to where you can to the one bonfire where if you go to your right it leads to that sewer sh shortcut with the giant rats go there and as you're making your way down the hallway look to your right and you'll see a little door and it's hard to it's kind of it's easy to miss because it looks like any other it look it's a gated door, but it looks like anything else and it looks like the wall in any other in the whole area, I mean. Sorry I'm bad at explaining stuff, but yeah, if you walk up towards it, it'll say like open the door, you'll just be like Al's like what the fuck? So I opened it. And it leads to a, like an undead cryptish crip like area. And it's nothing too spe spectacular, there's like no bosses or anything. It's just a way to get down there. And Um there's a statue there where you can request for dissolution, meaning you can ask to remove your hollowing, which I didn't think was a thing in this level, but it, in this level, in this game, which actually it is. You can go hollow in this game, but what that means is you don't lose any health whatsoever. You just look more gross as you... Um, the more times you die, the more gross looking you get, basically. And <clears throat> there's no real downside to it. You still, you don't lose any health whatsoever. But yeah, that's just, that's it really. <laughs> I looked it up and yeah, that's what the Dark Souls wiki told me. It's that um, I... 
Every time I die, my hollowing level goes up, and depending on how much my hollow level is, it all it affects my appearance. But I think you only go more and more hollow as you die. And if you remember that the first guy I saved the sorcerer guy, that weird pilgrim hunchback looking guy, if you talk to him with your hollowing level up to at least 16, he'll let he'll allow you to level up like five times without requiring any souls whatsoever. And it's a pretty nice thing, but you got to do it before he dies. Oh, hold on. Looks like there's a new video. But, um... That guy only levels you up five times if you have your hollowing level up to... 14 or 15, and I don't know when you start to hollow. I honestly don't know. It just started happening to me randomly, and I saw that I was 14, and... Whenever I came up to the statue of this goddess of a sin person... Oh, to digress for a second, I'm waiting for someone to come over because I summoned... I, I, like, accepted someone's summon sign, but nothing was happening, so I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Because I, wait, I wasted, like, two or three minutes at most. If you're wondering what I applied to my weapon, if you... If any Dark Souls player would know, magic users like this guy are weak against dark magic. I don't know why, it's just a thing. Sorry, my guy got on the wire. But yeah, I don't know why that's a thing, it just is. And I don't do any better in this boss fight either because I'm still not fully prepared and this would have gone more smoothly if that guy had been summoned sooner, but the summoning in this game Jeez, what did he do? He just grabbed me. <laughs> um, as I was saying, to summon people in the game, it's kind of a chore because not only do you have to wait, but sometimes it can fail, and you just have to find more summon signs, and sometimes there might not be that many. It might just be one out of, like, you might find one every, like, 40 minutes or so, and you're just like, oh my god. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not doing any better. This guy is interesting, though, because it makes me wonder if there are going to be any more Crystal Sages in the game. And since he, after you bring his health halfway down, he starts to clone himself because he's getting antsy, I guess, or scared, whatever. He just doesn't want to die like any other boss. Plus, they're all just there to kill you for some reason. You just walk in and they're just like, oh my god, it's you. Time to fight. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm over here enjoying my fucking time in the world. and Meanwhile, you're just like, you must die. Eh, that's just a thing for bosses. <sighs> oh, my fucking head itches. So now on my current level, since I'm close to, I think I'm 43 right now, I'm able to take on those crabs without much problem. And I've been in, I've been invading people here and there, not by just, you know, using the red eye thing. I've just been invaded randomly. I've been invading people randomly because since I'm part of the watchdogs, I am constantly, it, I'm constantly invading people because most of the people who come here are people who have not established a covenant with the watchdogs yet, so they're all just trespassers. And most of the time, one or two watchdogs will invade the person to stop them because they're trespassing in their territory. And it's honestly pretty fun to invade someone because at first it's just you and one-on-one -on -one and then you invade. Ra then like you get another buddy to back you up. So all now it just turns into like waiting for your waiting for backup. And <clears throat> it's not too bad, but occasionally when that stuff starts to happen, the host starts bails down this ladder that's over there where those guys are and I'm gonna make us I'm gonna make another attempt to defeat these guys because there's no way in hell I can go back to that crystal sage and beat them at my current level I'm hoping that now I'm stronger I have a better chance but we'll have to see but since I can't go there yet we're gonna head back to these guys and take them down and I'm pretty sure I do a better job this time Ah, 
And I'm obviously trying to catch his attention without alerting the other guy. Because the last thing I want is to... Is to wake that other guy that's in, that's in the very back. Because if, if I can fight one of them, that's fine. But if I have to fight two of them, then... As you saw in the last time, I got my ass kicked. Hey, you see how easy that was with just one person? And some of me might be pissed off about it that I only took down one person. Like, I'm only taking them out one at a time. I obviously don't care. Because I'm just playing it smart. I'd rather fight one than two because... They have insane combos and with just both of them together, they... Stick together so like, whenever one misses, the other can attack and... Almost guarantee a hit. But... It's better to just fight them on your own because... The smarter way, obviously, but if you're gonna be pissed off about that, then whatever, because uh, people just like to get pissed off about stupid shit. Like I said, people made rules for PvP. I'm like, when did rules come into play? And what I mean is that, like, whenever you bow, that means you're declaring that you won't heal yourself, and if you heal yourself, then you're not a man. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know, people just like to complain about stupid shit on PvP. And I obviously don't care. I, I hardly PvP, but I've been PvPing a lot more often in Dark Souls 3 than any Dark Souls game. Someone's got Artorius armor. What the fuck? Is Artorius in this game? I was looking at my TV and I... I'm playing Dark Souls right now and I'm just currently resting on a bonfire because I'm doing this. <laughs> ah, sorry. And so... <clears throat> I just saw someone sit down with Artorius' armor set along with the Artorius Greatsword. So now I'm wondering if Artorius is in this game or it's just a uh, armor set you find in this game. Because there are Abyss Watchers in this game which make me wonder what are they. Because in Dark Souls 1, the DLC, you enter the Abyss which is this weird area that's infested with black ooze that everyone seems to be infected with. And I have no idea what's that about but... From what I can gather, corruption. That's all I can assume, because Artorias is the abyss, wa abyss watcher who, or the abyss walker who journeyed into the abyss but only came out corrupted. Because he sacrificed himself to protect his dog, Sin, or Sif. No, Sif. Yeah, Sif. His dog was Sif, and he sacrificed himself to make sure he lives, but he was corrupted by the, by the abyss. Because he was trying to stop it himself, but he failed and became corrupted. So, <clears throat> I think one of the first bosses you fight... No, the second boss you fight in the Artorias map pack for Dark Souls 1 is uh, Artorias, the Abyss Watcher. Or Walker. Whatever. And he's a pretty good boss. Yeah, he's a pretty good boss. He... It takes a while to... Um, it's been so long since I fought him, but like I know I had some trouble because he was, he's faster than most bosses and how, sl and how slow you are in the game. And you're really disadvantaged because you're so sluggish in the game. It pisses me off because you can try to roll away. Meanwhile, like the boss can like do two moves before you and you know deliver a final blow to you and you're just like, what the fuck? And there are these geckos again, and these geckos. They're not all that hard, but they're just so annoying because they do their absolute best to fucking curse you. And what cursing does is, if you see that me meter that's fr filling up, that's like my curse gauge. So what happens is, whenever that fills up, I become cursed, simply. And I lose a bit of my HP whenever I... Um... Whenever I respawn in the bonfire, because once you're cursed, I'm assuming it's going to be the same as any other Dark Souls game. You turn into stone, and you lose half your HP because you're cursed, and you need to find a purging stone. And I don't know where to find purging stones, but I, the last thing you want is to be cursed without knowing where to get purging stones. Because if you can't get any purging stones, then you can't lift the curse. Then you can't lift your curse, because... Hey! 
Sorry, my cat was walking towards wires. But yeah, um, you don't want to get cursed without knowing where to get purging stones because you want to be able to lift the curse, not just have the curse stay stay on you forever because the only way to get rid of the curse is to buy a purging stone. Or I think you have to ask someone to remove your curse. Not sure on that. <clears throat> but yeah, that's one of the... That's one of the um, back draws of being cursed. You can't, you can't just um, let it go away. It only goes away if you. Um, it doesn't go away over time. You have to get rid of it yourself. But I haven't been cursed yet, so I uh, I obviously don't know what happens whenever I become cursed. So. I don't know, maybe I'll become cursed later on, we'll see. But, yeah. Being cursed is just not fun. Oh, crap. <clears throat> ah, sorry. Also, after this video is up, tomorrow I'll finally start to be able to uploading videos of in game commentary, so now I won't have to do any more narrations i talked about this in doom but this is for also i'm also talking about this for the dark souls videos too because i record dark souls off of capture card and i managed to figure out how to get my headset to work while recording and the only backdrop is i can't really hear my game because my headset is designed to block out a lot of noise like any other headset because they want you to, any company any company you buy a headset from wants you to be absolutely immersed in what you're hearing. And if you're, say, like you're playing Call of Duty and you're in like a really good kill streak, your concentration will be more on the game. But if you have your headset on, then you're more then you're more concentrated than anything else because you can't hear anything else around you but the game. And so it's just a way of just keeping you focused. And I don't know what's the deal with these slugs. They're not all that hard. I mean, yeah, they deal some damage, but not much, honestly. I mean, they all die in two hits. Hmm. Sorry, I'm checking out the game that's happening right now. and So far, just a lot of people resting. I'm currently resting at the Watchdog Farron. The little, that giant wolf thing. You'll probably see it in a bit. I think I make my way up there. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure I make my way up there. Yeah, there's a the ladder, so... Yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> but I just get rid of these guys because it's just easy souls. You know. They're slugs and they all die in two hits. But yeah, now we're going to make our, make our way up this ladder because there's... Uh, I watched Geekos play up to this point and I know there's a bonfire up ahead. So I'm just like, alright, let's just get rid of these guys and make our way up. And I was kind of worried about my poison getting the best of me, but... I mean, look how much it takes. It takes away 1 or 5 HP every second. Which is not a lot, because you have a crap ton of e um, HP. Like, I don't know how much you start off with in general. Like... I think 500 is just your base, base starting pack for um, Dark Souls. I'm not sure. But you start out with a fair amount of health, and with the amount of health you have now, I'm probably in the 900s or something, and now I'm over a thousand with health. And yeah, this poison takes quite a while to get. This will take quite a while for a poison to kill me in my current level. <clears throat> ah. that my throat hurts a little I've been talking a little too much <laughs> but that's what happens whenever you do narrations but anyway looks like we're nearing the end of the video so leave like a co comment if you enjoyed this video that's the Dark Horse talking about by the way subscribe to help my channel grow and in the next video we're going to journey back down and see what we can explore so until then I will see you all later